Hey friends, good morning and welcome to another edition of Staying Plugged In. I'm Pastor Tim, coming to you on a beautiful fall day here in the Midwest. I pray that you're having a great, great day and we pray for you today. Every time we bring a broadcast to you, we take time to pray for all of our listeners. I want to talk to you today for just a moment on the subject of patience. We've been talking about the qualities of a spiritual champion and we have been digging into the scriptures on Galatians chapter 5, where it talks about the fruit of the Spirit. The fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. And we're taking them one by one, and we're kind of dissecting and digging a little deeper into them to see how they apply to our Christian walk and our Christian life. And so today I want to talk about Patience. How's your patience level? You know, I can't think of anything that probably is uh, affects all of us more than the area of patience. And so I want to give you just a couple of little things to help you today. If you're going to excel in patience, if you're really going to become good at it, and uh, we know this, that patience isn't in our nature, none of us. You know, I shared the example Sunday morning that when a baby wakes up at two o'clock in the morning, that newborn doesn't stop and think, you know, mom and dad are probably tired. I think I'll just wait for a more convenient time. I'll just be patient and wait uh, till about six in the morning. No, when they're hungry, when they're wet, they want to be changed and they're going to let you know. You know, I thought about that and I thought there was a lot of adults that way. We've just never got out of that stage. We'll whine and cry until we really get what we want. But I want to encourage you in something today. Be a spiritual champion in the area of patience. And here's the way you can do that. Number one, stay hooked in to the master of patience, which is Jesus. Jesus modeled patience with his disciples, the people that were closest to him. Today, you need to just take a moment be thankful for the people around you. Be thankful for your family. I know it's easy to get impatient with them. They don't always uh, do the things we want or act the way that we think they should. But I want to encourage you to be patient with them. Jesus was patient with his disciples. You see, the Bible says this. Jesus made this comment in John chapter 15. He said, I am the vine, you are the branches. If you remain in me, you will bear much fruit. Can I remind you, we're talking about the fruit of patience. So we can bear much fruit if we stay tapped in to Jesus Christ and allow him to live through us. He had great patience for his disciples, those closest to him. Be patient with your children, be patient with your spouse, be patient with your friends, with your parents, with your whatever, whatever your circumstances and the circle that, that you're living in with family. Then Jesus was also not only patient with uh, the disciples, he was patient with the crowds. Um, I'm sure if you're like me, the people around you can get irritating at times. Uh, but I wanna encourage you, learn to be patient with the people around you and, uh, and ask God to give you a grace for people. You know, you never know their circumstance. You never know their situation, what they're facing, what they might be going through, but learn to be patient with them. And then Jesus was patient in his suffering. You see, when I talk about patience, I'm not just talking about patience with people, but I'm talking about the patience with circumstances in our life. That's the biblical definition of patience. It means to endure. It means to stand up under and to be steadfast and, and not to easily retaliate or not to easily give up on a circumstance in your life. And so today I want to encourage you, stay hooked to the master, Jesus, the master of patience, and then learn to overlook and overcome the little uh, uh, frustrations of your life. The, I call them the little foxes. Solomon said this, he said, catch for us the foxes, the little foxes that spoil the vineyard. All of us have pet peeves. I'm sure you've got a pet peeve. Um, I don't like long lines. I don't like slow drivers in the fast lane. Some people don't like being late. Other people don't like empty boxes in the cupboards. Um, people, <laughs> we had somebody mention Sunday, they don't like people who dress their animals in clothes. <laughs> well, well, I don't know, whatever your pet peeve is, learn to get over it. Learn to, to not make a, a mountain out of a molehill. So learn to overlook and overcome the little pet peeves. What are your pet peeves? What are the things that just get under your skin that just add up and add up and add up 
And before you know it, you've just blown your stack. Hey, learn to let go. Catch the little foxes that spoil the vineyard. Catch those things and say, you know what? I'm going to overcome them. And then finally, I want to encourage you in this. Live in the time zone of God. God's timing is perfect. He's working something in your life. You've got a dream. You've got a hope. Maybe you've got a concern or you're going through a struggle or a trial. Whatever it is, good or bad, God has a timing in it. And I want to encourage you today. Ecclesiastes says this, he makes everything beautiful in its time. Today, God is working for you. The Bible says, I waited patiently for the Lord and he heard my cry. The Bible says that when we wait upon the Lord, that he is working and acting on our behalf. I love Isaiah 40. It says, they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up on wings like eagles. They shall run and not grow weary. They shall walk and not faint. Waiting has benefits. Waiting is a time of strengthening. Waiting is a time to really be filled up. I want to encourage you today, wait upon the Lord. Maybe it's a frustrating relationship. Maybe it's a suffering. Maybe it's a conflict that you're dealing with in your life right now. A trial, a test that you're going through. God makes everything beautiful in his time if you will trust him. He said, wait patiently for me and I will answer you. I want to pray for you right now. Father, I thank you for each one who's listened today to Staying Plugged In. And I pray that today, God, whatever they're facing in their life that's, that could create impatience, God, the, 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 the fear of the unknown or a doctor's report or a, a, a child that's been, that been acting up or a, a bad marriage or a struggle, God, at work, that they would just wait upon you. You said they that wait will renew their strength. And so I'm praying right now for renewed strength a renewed strength in their heart, in their soul, in their mind, in their spirit today, that they will come away from this little time of sharing, strengthened and hopeful in the Lord. God bless you. We love you and we're praying for you. Hey, be a spiritual champion. Bear much fruit in this area of patience. God bless you. We love you.